When you watch the math snacks in your classrooms, whether it be on the iPad or on the computer, watch it the first time just for fun. And the second time, pause it in certain areas for discussion. Atlantia Dodgeball is about part-to-part -part versus part-to-whole relationships. Now, ratio is a comparison of two numbers, and sometimes that's such a difficult concept for students to grasp. Atlantia Dodgeball helps spark the discussion to help students learning. And wow, have those numbers diminished. The semifinals were harsh for the sea urchins. They lost a part of their whole team, 500 players. The uh, commentator said something about 500 and 1,000. You guys remember? They yeah. lost a whole part of their team, like one half of their team. They lost a part of their whole team, right? A big part. So this right here, which one's the part and which one's the whole then? So yeah. The 500 is the part and 1,000 is the whole. Ah, okay. Part and this one is the whole. This is great. This is great. What about the belugas? Let's look at what's going on with them. Speaking of losses, the Belugas didn't fare much better. Their whole team lost almost the same part, 520 players. So, let me ask you this question. What percentage of their team is still left, as far as the sea urchins are concerned? Gavin? 50%. 50%. So, 50%. How'd you get that? Because whenever you cut 100 in half, it would be 50, and then... 100% cut in half is 50%. Ah, perfect. So you compared 100 or 1,000 to 500 to 100% and 50. Okay, that's great. What about the percentage of belugas? Here, me 48%. How'd you get that? I like to have the kids explain their reasoning so I can tell how they're processing the information. Dodgeballs are really flying now. These players are playing their hearts out. Just look at that score. Each time the score changes, I pause the animation and put that score up on the board as a ratio. Now here's the time where we can discuss how the coaches feel about it, the ratio itself, and the difference in order to help the students with that concept. Who's got the advantage? Hear me is. Why? Because they have 61 players in the should the Beluga's coach be scared in this case? Yeah. Yes. A little bit more than last time, yeah? 230 to 231, right? Yes. Now it's closer to a one-to-one -one ratio. 42 to 35. Okay. How are their chances? How are the Beluga's chances? So if you took 42 minus 35, you'd get 7, right? Does the difference matter that much? No. No. Why? <laughs> so, <laughs> All that matters now is how many team members remain on each side, and the sea urchins have the advantage with nine members left. There we go. So it's nine to two, right? Unless they have like superpowers. Notice what's the difference between the two? It's like a one to four ratio. It's close to a one to four ratio. That's exactly right, Leah. So what's the difference between the two right here? Seven. Seven, you say, Nate? Yes. How'd you get that? Um, I, I subtracted two from nine, Yeah. I got seven. Yeah, so over here it was seven, and over here it was seven. But you guys said they have no chance here. Why? Was it close to being even here? Yes. Yeah. Was it close to being even here? No. no. Even though they had a seven player difference, notice that the evenness is altogether gone. Okay? What is this ratio close to? A one to one? One to one, Leah? What about this ratio? That's one to one. To one. Close to one to one, right? Close. And this one? Um, about one to two? One to one. One to two? Probably, I don't know. Probably? Probably. One to two, two. What would one to two look like with numbers that big? Yeah, yeah. 500 to 250. 500 to 250 oh, yeah. would be close to a two to one, oh. right? So here me is, what is this close to, you think? One to one. One to one, close to even. So notice, we were close to even the whole time. Even over here, 
close to even. But what about here? No. No. Leah said it was close to four to one. I agree with her. Now it's time for a friendly game of dodgeball. It's not about winning, it's about creating ratios. Have the students involved in any way, whether it be a scorekeeper, uh, announcer, or participating in the dodgeball experience. And set some ground rules before you start playing. Today we played two games. In the first, we started out with even numbers on both sides. And we paused a few times to check out the ratios. Pause, 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 pause. Four to two ratio, huh? What is that close to, or exactly? Two to one. Which side, which side do you think would win? The Belugas. Pause, pause, just one second. What's the ratio? Five to one. Uh oh. Belugas win, Belugas win. I slanted the second game on purpose with three on one side and nine on the other. The kids know by this time, it's not really important who wins. They're simply just having fun gathering the data. So what is it now with Leah back in? Three to four? Okay, all right, I'm gonna give two more minutes, two more minutes. When the kids gather the data for themselves, it gives the mathematics more meaning. And when we come back from the dodgeball activity, the kids are totally energized. So what we do is we put the scores up on the board and discuss them, much like we discussed the scores in the Atlantean dodgeball animation. Three is the nine and the one is three. Ah, so this reduces to a three to one ratio. Yeah? Huh, interesting. Notice the differences here. These are the same, right? Yes. You guys are okay with them being the same? Yes. Well, what about the differences of people? I want the same ratio the whole time. So if I drew two more blue players, how many more greens would I draw? Tevin, go Draw ahead. six more. You would draw six more? Why would you draw six more? Because every one player that there is on the blue team, there's three players on the green. That's right. All right, guys, let me go ahead and pass out a learner guide for you guys. Yeah? So you guys can check it out. You can choose to have your students work on the learner guide in class or at home. Be sure to review the guides in class once they've had a chance to complete them. Always save a little class time for a summary. It's a great way to clear up any lingering confusion the students have. And we talked about two big things. One big thing was? Ratio. Yeah, Ratio. In particular, what? Mm. I'll give you a hint. The coach was very worried about it. Oh! Difference? Yeah. Does it matter about difference? Yes, but not as much as ratio. Ah, okay. What was the other thing we talked about? Yeah, Gary. Part ahead. to whole. Ah, part to whole. Right? We figured out what the whole of the team was, or both teams, right? And we figured out which parts were there, right? For example, Hermias, in this ratio, what is the whole? Um, 960? Okay, how'd you get that? Well, because 400 plus 400 is 800 plus 60 is 860. That's perfect. And not only that, what I do is I picture the actual players, right? And there's 860 players on the field. That's the whole, right? And what are each of the parts, Hermes? Um, 460 and 400. Right. They're each of the teams, right? And we could calculate their percentages, right? Mm -hmm. Are we cool with that? All right, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Get out of here. here at the competition of the epoch with two crucial teams the atlantic sea urchins and the arctic belugas ratio smatio dodgeball 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 i, I just i can't help it I, I love this animation 
He might be a few togas shy of a party.